Evelyn. All right, Rafe. Well, we are going to take a look at that video momentarily. Uh, but again, we did see uh, tornadoes are Again, we got reports of tornadoes rather uh, waiting for official confirmation, but this is to our north in Sacramento. So do you want to get a look at them to officially confirm them? But that video certainly did a good job with that confirmation. Nothing major, nothing compared to what we're seeing to the east of us, but pretty incredible that we did see a tornado in the Chico area in the Sacramento area as well. Not uh, atypical. We do sometimes generally see tornadoes in California. Nothing of the magnitude of what we're looking at back east. So we're going to be talking about that. And of course, we're going to have your holiday forecast coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. All right, Ev, thank all yeah. the time. Curiosity killed Kills the, the cat. Yeah. But in this, in this case, <laughs> she lived. Then, well, Aww. seven more lives. I know. Right? Yeah. Or six or more eight. lives. Wait, eight. <laughs> Nine lives. Nine, cats nine. have nine lives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know how much trouble she's been in. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. How beautiful was it today, right? Oh, it's gorgeous. It was a convertible kind of day. It was, it was a beautiful. convertible kind of day. Rick likes to talk about his convertible. He doesn't have. But I don't right? have. Right. But we can talk yeah, about it. Right. And maybe some of you out there have a convertible, and it was certainly a good day to take the top down. And that's probably going to be the case over the next couple of days. We're going to see if that lasts through the weekend coming up in your five-day forecast in just a little bit. But we are. Look at this shot. Oh, my God. You know what? This is, these are the nights we should be doing the show outside. I know. Yeah, on the roof Somebody of Boston. Right there. That's the JW Marriott right there in downtown. <laughs> you think the, the boss Carlson? would notice if we snuck out and just no, did the, the show Ritz outside? No, that's the Ritz-Carlton. Oh, it's the Ritz same Carlton. building. I think they share. It's a Ritz-Carlton oh, okay. on one side the and the JW Marriott. It's a very building. cool building. Yeah, yeah. yeah and we got LA Live Beautiful. and the Staples Center and downtown. They sell condos Great city, huh? That looks fake. It doesn't look real. It's beautiful. looks computer animated, but it's not. It's a sky nine. It's what it is. In HD. Exactly. So it's pretty exciting exciting stuff. So thank you so much for that shot. That kind of made my whole night. Uh, we are looking at a gorgeous night outside, but starting to get a little windy right now, a high wind watch in effect. Also several wind advisories in effect right now as well through first thing tomorrow morning. So Leia Castor, the high desert right there, the Antelope Valley, all under a high wind watch. So that's an effect through 3 a.m. We're also looking at several wind advisories now kicking in for the LA County Mountains in effect through about six o'clock tomorrow morning. So again, starting to look at windy conditions, starting to look at pretty mild conditions tonight as well. 64 in Beverly Hills over to downtown. You're at 63 degrees as we head over to Santa Monica. You're currently at 62 degrees and as we head over to Long Beach, 63 degrees in Huntington Beach at 62 degrees. So earlier today we got up to 75 average is about 75 degrees record temperatures 103 didn't get anywhere close to that, but we hit average. We're gonna get a little cooler, but then we're going to warm it up into your inland spots. Well, we're warming it up right away. 80s for the next couple of days. Saturday and Sunday, plenty of sunshine, a little cooler by Sunday. And then we're bumping temperatures right back up again as we head into Monday. Do you want to get a quick look at the basin or actually we're going to get a look at the basin and the beaches coming up in just a little bit. Little teaser for you. Back to you. All right, Ev, thanks. Make sure to get that holiday forecast. I'm going to have that coming up for you after the break. Would you girls go with slide. me on the big slide? Yes. Yeah. yes. We should all on, on a train, you know, one after the next. You guys used to do yeah. that on water yeah. slides. Sure. <laughs> that sounds like that fun. That would be really fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's we should make a date. A Let's do it. Let's do okay. that. Okay. It's should a plan. The, so, no, should we invite the viewers? The viewers yeah, can you come guys along too. Come? But the kids will probably be like, would you please? Yeah, get the old people off the slides. Yeah, get the old people off the The seniors parks down the street. I know, right? Go to the senior citizen park. I know, right? We'll be all slow. Okay, <laughs> anyways, it'll be fun. Let's arrange that. Uh, but certainly a great weekend to hit the water park. We've got the holiday coming up as well, Memorial Day. So we're going to have that forecast coming up in your five-day forecast in just a little bit. But first and foremost, taking you outside, and we're overlooking the Santa Monica Pier. Mostly clear conditions out there tonight. Dealing with a little bit of coastal cloud cover first thing in the morning. But other than that, plenty of sunshine pretty warm numbers. Right now we are dealing with several wind advisories and wind watches as well for the Antelope Valley in effect through 3 a.m. in effect through 6 a.m. for the L.A. County Mountains. So a bit breezy out there and you'll see that as we take a look at current conditions. Lancaster 16 mile an hour sustained winds. Lake Los Angeles at 14 miles an hour. Agua Dulce at 8 miles an hour. And temperature is actually a little warmer this time of night compared to where we were yesterday. We did warm it up today. Warmer right now. 63 in downtown. 63 in Alhambra. Commerce at 64 degrees. And as we head over to Orange County we're currently into the 60s. Uh, you'll see right here Huntington Beach at 62 and Long Beach. You're currently at 63 degrees. So earlier today we got up to 75. We hit average finally, but we are going to be a little below average over the next couple of days, uh, but still keeping it warm. High pressure warming up in some spots, a little cooler in others. So again, it's just a matter of just a couple of degrees here. Overall, we're keeping it pretty warm for this time of year. A cooler weekend on tap, but as we head into Memorial Day, 
we are expecting a warmer forecast. So we're going to break down those numbers for you in a minute. Want to break down the next 24 hours for you. And as we do, you're going to see temperatures dipping down into the 50s, up into the 60s first thing in the morning, up into the 70s. Plenty of sunshine by the afternoon. You'll see that in your five day forecast right here. Getting a look at the basin in Orange County. Plenty of sun warming up. We're keeping a little bit of cloud cover in the forecast first thing in the morning by the afternoon. Nice and sunny temperatures into the 70s again across the board for the basin in Orange County. And we've been promising you that next five day forecast and you'll see right here the coast looks a bit like this up into the 70s by Saturday. A little cooler, but beach barbecue day by Monday. Back to nice. you. All right, cool. thank you.